Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2122 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Four box pick your team number 18. This break is part of the promo and it's the final four box of that case that we opened up not too long ago. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. There's Sean with the Warriors last spot mojo. And with the Thunder too, double last spot mojo. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Basketball, we were just talking football just before we started this break. Um, and uh, But basketball, the basketball season is not too far behind us, not too far away from us as well. Terry, are you in this one? Yeah, Terry's in this one. He's looking, uh, there are John Morant autos on Memphis. That would be nice. Would love to hit a train whistle on this, Jim. My top of the order, Gila. What's with the Dennis Schroeder signing? Yeah, Laker legend Dennis Schroeder going back to my Lakers. Um, on a, on a one-year deal. It's a good move for the Lakers who who need to get cheap talent wherever they can and you know yeah, he was score he was averaging 20 points a game in that in uh, in that European basketball tournament so <laughs> for what that's worth. I think he worked with Darvin Ham um, in Atlanta. I think in Atlanta they worked together at some point. So I think there's also familiarity with Dennis Schroeder. So I think you know maybe just have an extra guy on a on a team that's working on a new offense. And he should be decent. Yeah, he's. Uh, Lakers, one of the rare bullets they've dodged, Chilo. Yeah, they did offer him like four years, 84 or something like that. Five years, 84 million, which he turned down. I think he thought he was going to have a, you know, he bet on himself, which, hey, I like. He bet on himself, but it didn't it didn't work out. You heard room they're going to move Anthony Davis? I've heard that too. But I don't know, That might that might just be... That might just be clickbait. There's Cameron Johnson for the Suns. That's uh, just throwing my, my mouse around here. That's 40 out of 59, as I was going to say. Well, they did get younger. Yeah, they, they last year they were old and slow, but now they're... I don't know what their speed is right now, but they are, uh, they are no longer older. I don't know, Anthony. I, th I don't know if it was a rumor. I think it's. I think it was. I think it was confirmed somewhere. But the Lakers definitely got definitely got younger, though. I think that was something that they wanted to do. You know, um, Kendrick Nunn's still pretty young. Austin Reeves is young. Wantiscon they got Juan Toscano Anderson, they got Wenyan Gabriel, they got Thomas Bryant. And I guess he's been around a little bit, but he's still pretty young. Lonnie Walker the fourth, I think is still maybe a handful of years into the league. So compared to last year, they definitely got younger. So hopefully that at least will provide a little bit of a uh, little bit of energy. There's a uh, Walt Frazier, 94 out of 99. For the Knicks, that's gonna be for Patrick T. But yeah, the West is loaded. I mean, even even if LeBron James and Anthony Davis were 100% healthy the entire season, that's still that's still a challenge. There's Zaire Williams to 199. Yeah, I did too. The Lonnie Walker, the fourth signing, is pretty good. And they've got they've got some youngsters in the wings too. Surprisingly, 
in spite of having traded their all of their first round picks for from here to eternity, um, they've surprisingly done well with like diamonds in the rough, like with undrafted. Like Austin Reeves was an undrafted guy, and they turned him into, you know, they were they saw something in him. We'll do left right randomizers on these as usual. It's Michael Porter Jr. to one forty nine. So I like. Their scouting department, I guess, but everything else has been a bit of a, you know, has been a bit of a challenge they, putting a team together. There's Jonathan Kaminga for the Warriors for Sean, and the Cade Cunningham goes to Detroit. That's for Walter. Zayo Desunmu, rated rookie hollow. Those hollows are always nice. No, good for Malik Monk. Like, I don't, I don't blame him for getting paid either, Jim. And a Scotty Barnes rated rookie. Maybe we'll find a hollow of his. That'd be nice. But this is just base Scotty Barnes. And then there's a rookies insert Scotty Barnes as well. But that Russell Westbrook trade never should have, never should have happened. I mean, I'm no basketball coach. <laughs> you know, I haven't played the game at a high level. But I've watched a lot of basketball. That's true, Eddie. Eddie's right. They put themselves in a position where they have to hit on those undrafted free agents. Good point. But, I mean, uh, anyone could tell that, like, it's no secret. You su surround LeBron with shooters. That's the basic formula. Surround LeBron with shooters. Surround LeBron with shooters. Surround LeBron. You know, like, it's, it's, it's a mantra. I'll try, Logan. I hope you wake up to some big hits. Ooh, there you go, Max Muncy. Max Muncy Homer. I guess my, my watching this Guardians White Sox game is kind of compelling, but Diamondbacks at Dodgers, too. We'll flip back and forth. Yeah, LeBron, LeBron apparently doesn't know that. Oh, Anthony Davis being hurt for three quarters of the season two didn't help. Yeah, they got a little better, Jim. I mean, I think Dennis Schroeder can, is, is decent from the outside. Patrick Beverly decent from the outside. Kendrick Nunn, what, 35 high 30s percent three-point shooter but him losing him last year i think for the entire season was kind of weird too i think he's expected to you know gobble up like 25 30 minutes a night whether as a starter or off the bench or whatever the case is we'll see i mean yeah kendrick Nunn being healthy is kind of like a new signing but he's got to, I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to play a lot of preseason games, knock some rust off, you know, get, get, get him back into game shape ASAP. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure every, most professional athletes have a sense of pride. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure none wants to, wants to show out this season. Yeah, if Zion is healthy this year, there's Joe Ingles to 99 for the Jazz. That'll be for Nico Martin. Um, I mean, he's got a, He's an excellent candidate to come to win Comeback Player of the Year. Is there such an award? <laughs> Didn't Brandon Ingram win that, or was that Most Improved? I think it's comeback. There's Zach Levine to 149. Anthony's guess is no, but for the hobby's sake, yeah, me, I, I agree. I hope so too, for the sake of the hobby. A lot of, uh, 
A lot of money people are sitting on with Zions. Terry, there's a, here's a rated rookie, Davion Mitchell. Maybe we'll find some parallels of his, too. And there's Quentin Grimes. Also a solid player for the Knicks to 199. LeBron James, 75 years in the NBA. Yeah, the Pel I mean, the Pelicans were a surprise playoff team. C.J. McCollum, I think, has really, really changed. It's just a really good fit. I think has really changed that team. So imagine adding a healthy Zion to that, and hopefully he's been conditioning this offseason. Detroit, that'll be for Walter. I mean, I'm not saying he has to be like Kevin Durant skinny. Josh Christopher, rated rookie haul for the Rockets. That'll be for Sean TKO. It's Jamal Murray, 93 out of 199 for the Nuggets. Denver, that'll be for Darren, the Porterhouse State. And we've got a Josh Howard, 20 out of 99. Optographs for Dallas. That's going to be for Jeremy Haynes. 20 out of 99. Yeah, I could yeah, I think if he if Zion's healthy, Pelicans could win fifty plus games. If healthy though, right, the if is the operative word. Next box. I actually have the depth chart page open here. Let's go to the Pelicans really quick. Yeah, CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram. Don't forget about Brandon Ingram. Um, Herbert Jones put in some meaningful minutes last year, and they got Jonas Valanciunas up front. I think Jackson Hayes is a good young talent. Larry Nance Jr. off the bench. Devontae Graham off the bench. Even some Trey Murphy the third. Let's see. Let's see Kira Lewis Jr. keep developing. You know, obviously Zion Williamson in the mix. But yeah, I mean, they've got a nice blend of some older players, some some players kind of in their primish. Primus? Primish? Brandon Ingram, you know, he's been in the league. He's not old, but he's not young either. He's sort of right there. So you got Ingram kind of entering sort of his prime years of his career. Yeah, Brandon Ingram was drafted in 2016, so... Gilo's going to bandwagon the Bulls and Thunder this year. Yeah, Bulls have a fun team. Let's go to the Bulls depth chart. He's gonna Gilo's gonna bandwagon the Bulls and Thunder. Yeah. Lonzo, Zach Levine, Alex Caruso, Ayo Dusunmu, Kobe White. If Kobe White kind of gets back on track, I mean that could be like a new signing for them. That's a good backcourt. Then you got DeMar DeRozan, Patrick Williams, Vucevic. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty solid team. I always think that too, Jim, if like Lonzo and Ingram wouldn't have been traded when in L.A., but... Does that team, does that team win a championship, though? I don't know. It'd be set up better for the long term, though. There's Isaac Okoro, 31 out of 70. What about the Cavs? I know uh, Okoro is, no, Okoro, so this, it was Sexton that was moved. But Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell in the backcourt. Karis LeVert off the bench, right? Okoro as a small forward. 
Karis Levert can kind of play that position there. Chetty Osman in the mix, Kevin Love off the bench, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen in the front court. Woo! Jared Allen protecting the rim that lets big Evan Mobley do whatever he wants. Nine out of ten, Dario Saric, Octographs, Gold Parallel, Suns, Robert. One of the last teams taken, one of the cheaper teams on the board, too. No, Anthony's skeptical of the Cavs, way too much hype. I don't know, I might buy into that hype. As a, I don't know what the Lakers season is going to look like. So, <laughs> There's Jalen Brown, 14 out of 199. And I was born in Warren, Ohio, which is not too far away from Cleveland. In an alternate universe, my parents stayed there. I could have been a, a long-suffering Cavs fan. There's Cade Cunningham, Detroit. That'll be for Walter. There's Jared Allen. Speaking of which, Josh Christopher rated rookie holla for Houston. Let's see if we can find his teammate, Sean. Yeah, Anthony doesn't know if that... Anthony doesn't... It's not really sold on that Garland-Donovan-Mitchell backcourt combo chemistry-wise. Here's Scotty Barnes for Toronto, Joshua. Try to find like a low number parallel for him, Josh. I like the Thunder, but maybe not this year. But SGA, Josh Giddy, Lugan Dort, Darius Baisley pretty good and if that one kid didn't get didn't get hurt and was lost for the season I'm blanking on his name someone in the chat will remind me there's Kawhi Leonard 14 out of 99 there's Josh Giddy. speaking of which that goes to Sean Maddock in OKC Josh Giddy and that kid that I'm forgetting the name of my brain's on in basketball mode yet um had a, good, had a good summer league. Chet, that's right. Holmgren. Thanks. Yeah, and what about... I asked this question, Jim, last week when we were doing this basketball break. What's the KD reception for fan, from fan? Ooh, nice Cade Cunningham. 90, 31 out of 39. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Walter, Pistons. That is nice. But, yeah, what's the... I mean, all that... Are, are fans just happy to have Kevin Durant back? So all is forgiven? Or is there going to be some booze? Yeah, what's it like in the locker room when there were... You know, when they were like... You know, he's trying to get, tr trying to demand a trade, essentially pretty much saying that, uh, that the coaching staff wasn't good enough. And the front office wasn't good enough. You think he'll get booed like Kyrie was, Eddie's saying? Best case scenario, Anthony's saying is if the Nets can find a way to move Kyrie. I think they tried in the offseason, but now that KD's back, I think you got to keep him. I, 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 think, I think Kyrie goes to the Lakers. Lakers will have Russell Westbrook's $40 million off the books. Kyrie is only a, what, a player option, so he only has one more year. So I could see, uh, I could see Kyrie balling out because it's a contract year. Goes and goes to the Lakers. That would be the Lakers' big free agent signing. Right, yeah. How do you do that, right, Jim? Like, you have conversations with Steve Nash. How do you have conversations with your coach after you say, hey, they're not good enough. I want them fired. 
Maybe it's drama all year long. At least that's drama that the Lakers won't have. <laughs> but, but the Brooklyn Nets and the Lakers kind of in the same, similar positions last season. Kyle's saying, yeah, definitely going to be a little awkward on the season opener. Got to be. I mean, winning cures all, though. You know, winning definitely cures all. So if they, if they start off the season like 10-0 and 0 or something like that, you know, I think, uh, you know, and if, KD and Kyrie leading the way. And if Ben Simmons looks serviceable, you know, all's forgiven. Winning cures everything. It's Kai Jones, rookie dominators autograph for Charlotte. That'll be for Mark and the Hornets. Six out of 49. Yeah, but Jim can see the players not trusting him behind the scenes. True. I can see that too. But again, winning cures all, right? But I don't know. At the first sign of adversity, how well does that team does that team quickly crumble? I mean, this is really more of a playoff question. If both of those guys are healthy in the East, they should be able to walk into the playoffs at some point. So, yeah, what happens if they're, you know, down 0-2? you know, in a playoff series or something like that. You know, or if they're playing a playoff team, you know, and they're down by 15 points going into the fourth quarter, you know, is that game going to overtime? Are they winning that game? It's Cade Cunningham for Detroit. Sometimes you got to dig deep for that. It's another one for Walter, by the way, in Detroit. I don't know. A lot of exciting things happening in the NBA. I feel like, obviously, you know, the NFL's huge. Baseball's wrapping up their season. There's Quentin Grimes, 54 out of 59. Uh, with the Knicks, Patrick. But basketball season and hockey season around the corner. Training camp starting pretty soon. For, uh, for basketball and hockey, we'll start seeing preseason games at the end of the month. So we'll start to see how this works, how it all works out for guys like this. Jim just sees a mess of a season for the Brooklyn Nets. Hey, you know what though? Be good for conversation during the during the cold months when we're ripping basketball here at jazbeescasebreaks.com and talk about the latest Brooklyn Nets uh, drama. So hey, stick with us all basketball season long, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep we'll keep talking hoops and ripping hoops and you know seeing who's good for the hobby and who's not. Hashtag good for the hobby. There's Karis Levert to 149 for the Pacers. There's another Scotty Barnes for the Toronto Raptors. Joshua Jones and yeah, that's right, Terry. For you, wish we saw some ink and some more stuff from this guy. But here's a Donovan Mitchell. Davion Mitchell, hollow, rated rookie hollow for Terry, who got the uh, Kings straight up. Let's do this left-right randomizer here. So let's do this really quick. Left, right on there. Let's roll it and randomize it 12 times. Side on top, we'll get it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve left side cards, we'll get them. So I'll go to the left side teams, right there. And there you have it, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Uh, let's keep talking and ripping basketball all season long. So stick with us, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time.